there was a realization before 2005 that CPR was actually performed poorly in many hospitals and out of hospital settings, that it was too complex, and that we made too many interruptions. Every time you push on the chest, blood goes to the heart, to the brain, and to the heart. Um, every time you take your hands off the chest, there's no blood flowing to the head or to the heart. We found out that out of hospital, over 50% of the time in adults, and similar data, um, but not as complete in children, suggested that there was a, up to 50% of the time, no compressions were being provided because of using defibrillators. We realized that we had to make it simpler and, and that the flow to the heart and the brain was the critical components. So we made a simpler um, uh, scenarios. We made the um, uh, compression to ventilation rate be 15 to 2, so 30 to 2, excuse me, uh, with more time on compressions. Doing something either chest compressions alone or chest compressions plus rescue breathing is clearly much better than doing nothing. It's two to four fold better in terms of survival. People are afraid to do something that they may cause harm, but in fact it's just the opposite. They should feel confident that they only have a chance to improve the outcome.